Hello students, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 4 that is Tool Life and Machining Economics. In this video, we will be discussing about criteria for tool failure. First, we will define what is tool life, which we have already defined in the other video. So, tool life is the time between two successive resharpening. So, once you have started using the tool, then it gets over the period, there will be a lot of wear which is happening on the cutting tool. By that, it will lose its sharpness. Then we need to go for resharpening. This is the time, that is time period between the previous sharpening to again going for resharpening. That is called as a tool life. And time for which tool cuts effectively can also be called as a cold tool life. That is, after this, the tool may not be effective and uh, it may be having other uh, effects which we will be discussing in next slide. So, there should be some criteria for tool life. So, what are the indication that there is a tool wear has uh, have occurred and uh, what is that tool life has ended? Okay. So, for that first one is poor surface finish on the workpiece. So, there will be very rough surface or very poor surface finish which is obtained on the workpiece. So, that is one indication of the tool life and second one is there will be higher consumption of power okay? because of lot of friction forces there will be power consumption will be very high and then dimensional inaccuracies that is you will not be getting whatever the accuracy which you require uh, which is given in the drawing. So, next overheating of the cutting tool as I said earlier because of the friction higher friction there will be overheating of the cutting tool which is taking place and there may be also a burnishing bands that is burning bands on the workpiece surfaces because of very high temperature and what is the criteria for tool life so these are the indications but there must be some criteria to measure that tool life so that is what uh, we will be discussing in this slide so as you can see this is a crater wear okay so this is a crater shape this is a top view and this is a side view and as you can see uh, this is a view of a major flank this is a flank wear which has hap hap happened on the workpiece and uh, the flank wear is divided into zone c zone b and zone n and here you can see there is vb and vb max that is wear which is happening on the flank wear here is called as a vb and here it is called as vb max and and the kt is the maximum depth of the crater wear and KB is the length of that and KM is the average of it. So, this is uh, a diagram which gives you the tool wear and uh, flank wear at different zones and regions in the cutting tool and we will discuss about criteria in the next slide. Okay, As you can see, the, there is a criteria for high speed tool or a ceramic tool defined by the ISO. Okay, So, ISO is defining what will be the effective tool life for HSS and ceramic tools. So, the one is it will undergo catastrophic failure or VB should be equal to 0.3 if the flank is regularly worn in zone B. That is in the previous slide, we have seen that zone B that is VB, this should be equal to 0.3 and then VB max will be equal to 0.6. Okay, Then that tool life has ended. So, that is VB max is for irregular worn, so whereas VB is for regular worn. And similarly, there is a criteria for sintered carbide tools that is VB will be equal to 0.3 mm and VB max will be equal to 0.6 and in case of crater wear, KT will be equal to 0.06 plus 0.3 times of F, F is feed. So, this KT that is shown here, so the depth of that crater will be equal to 0.06 plus 0.3 into times of F. So, if it's crossed this limits, then it has ended, the tool life is over and we need to go for a resharpening. So, this was about uh, criteria for tool failure. 